we're going to move on to drilling the holes on the OD here, these little angled holes. I actually want to go over to my view tab and turn off this section view. With the section view turned off, I can see all holes on this particular diameter here. And what you'll notice is that I have the C-axis drill and cross drilling options within Mastercam for the lathe side. I want to take advantage of some of these options that I have under the milling side for drilling on this OD. So I'm going to go to my milling tab and I'm going to say drill under the 2D operations. And I'm going to zoom in. I can hold down control and click on the actual surface itself and you'll notice that it automatically selects all the other features around the outside. I can green check OK. And then from here, we can look at some of these tools that we actually want to have within this particular part. Now, you don't have to go through the mill, the mill tool manager. I can actually create a tool here as well by right clicking in this box, create a tool. And as you see, I have my end mills, face mills, all the way down to my hole making tools as well for my drill. This particular hole size is a 1 8 diameter hole. I'll leave these by default. Um, I'll keep this pretty standard to what I like to use, somewhere between 130 and 135. And I'm going to click Next. And here you can number your tools. You can label it whatever you want, as well as give a manufacturer name, EDP numbers, or anything else you need. I'm going to say Finish for this particular tool. And I'll say Drill OD Holes. For my parameters, I got a drill counterbore. For my axis, I'm going to select my fourth axis here. For our hole segments, we'll go ahead and bypass this. We're going to go to our linking parameters. And we're going to start looking at some of these other options here that we have. Right off the bat, I want to tell it that I have a one inch clearance. Notice that all these are incremental here. I'll say 0.1. And for now, I'm going to say 0 and 0. I want to use this calculate depth from top of hole. And I'm simply going to green check OK just so we can see what's going on. OK. And I will have to go back and adjust some of these parameters, but with that adjust depth from top of hole, we can see that we're going 0 to the top. If I was to turn this option off, you can now see that Mastercam is trying to push it through the bottom. So you had the choice of going to the top of the hole to the bottom. Now we, we are also running on that fourth axis. I'm most likely going to want to switch this over to a fifth axis operation to get the tool to tilt over as needed. Another thing you'll notice is that we have this line going from one point to the next. And it's fine. I know in the output we actually get a rotary motion. But what if you want to see it within Mastercam as well? If I was to go inside of these parameters, the very first thing I want to do first is go to my tip compensation. I want to make sure that I'm breaking through the bottom of that hole. And having the option off in our cut or in our um, linking parameter, excuse me, for this calculate depth from top of the hole. Having that unchecked in the tip comp will allow Mastercam to read that complete solid going down inside of the hole and assure that I'm breaking through no matter what angle I'm at. But we're going to talk about this automatic linking feature here. And with this automatic linking feature, I can now go under my parameters and give it a safety zone. And inside of the safety zone, I could define the shape at which I want to you know, allow Mastercam to have the safety zone here, of course. If I was to say cylinder, and I select my solid, Mastercam is going to give me a default cylinder that we're going to be working with. If I was to green check OK, green check OK again, we can now see Mastercam actually has a rotary motion. And again, notice the color change as well, because this signifies that we have a feed motion going on. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, we'll put this back in my top view. I'm going to set this for fit, and I'm going to save my part. 